Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain Laplace transform and region of convergence of signum function. So, I have already made one session based on what is signum function. So now let us have first signum function and then we will solve Laplace transform for that. So see here in our input signal that is x of t which is signum function. So usually we write signum function like this, like this Sgn of t and as we know basically its value is 1 for t greater than 0, its value is 0 for t is equals to 0 and its value is minus 1 for t less than 0. Now here it is little tricky to understand this. So let us try to understand this with diagram and then we will make it in form of signal. So here if you plot signum function with respect to time then you will be finding that signum function is like this where this is plus 1 and this is minus 1 and over here it is 0 so this is how it looks like now as if you observe this signum function so it is a combination of two signal one signal is plus 1 and second signal is minus 1 so if you say this plus 1 signal that is happening towards t is equals to infinity so that signal is u of t and if you observe the signal which is happening in this direction towards t is equals to minus infinity then that is minus of u of minus t see if it is plus 1 in that case it is u of minus t but it is minus 1 so one can say this is what minus of u of minus t so ultimately we can write signum function is u of t minus u of minus t so this is what signum function now we can find laplace transform of this signum function so laplace transform of signum function is x of s that is We can place now x of t is u of t minus u of minus t. So by applying linearity property we can say separately we can have a calculation of Laplace transform for these two signal. So I am doing it separately. Now we already know Laplace transform for u of t that is 1 by s. Laplace transform for u of t that is 1 by s minus Laplace transform for minus u of t that is minus 1 by s. So this minus minus that will get plus and this will be now 2 by s. So Laplace transform for signum function that is 2 divided by s. Now I will explain how we can have signum functions ROC. So for ROC we need to have S plane. So I am plotting S plane here. But here there is real part sigma and over here there is imaginary part j omega. Now see both of this signal that is having pole at S is equals to 0. So I am just mentioning it. Pole is at S is equals to 0 and parallel line to the imaginary axis that is this. Now for first signal, this is right sided signal u of t. So ROC will be in this direction for u of t and for minus u of t, ROC will be in this direction for minus u of t. So ROC for minus u of t that is in this direction and ROC for plus u of t that is in this direction. So you will be observing there is no common ROC. Here there is no common ROC. So as there is no common ROC, one can say signum function is not having any ROC. So no ROC is here for 
signum function as there is no common ROC for this two signal. So this is all about Laplace transform and ROC of signum function. I hope that you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on your suggestions in future I will make videos which will be solving your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.